We got a fish. Right on the fall there. Ooh, that's a better one, I think. It's my first fish out of this river ever. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of In-Depth Angling. Today I'm out here on the Big Piney River in Missouri. We're going after smallmouth in order to complete the smallmouth slam challenge uh, that the Missouri Department of Conservation has put out. I'm gonna go and try to get uh, up to a gold level status on that. If you guys don't know what that challenge is, I'll have a little bit more of that linked down there in the description below. But for right now, we're just trying to go out and catch one smallmouth out of this section because it's a special management area for the smallmouth bass for the conservation department. So in order to complete the challenge, you need to catch one bass any size. That is after March 1st of 2022. We are now in January 2nd of 2023 today. I'm gonna go see what I can do. Um, I've never fished this river before, so we're gonna just try to wing it and see what we can come up with. So hopefully we get a fish today um, and, and several nice ones too. I'm, I've heard that there's some nice size bass in here. So we're gonna go see if we can go do that. Uh, I'm gonna quit rambling here and get fishing. Getting a little bit of wind out here. I'm hoping the thunderstorms that are supposed to come later this afternoon hold off till then. I don't really know what to throw here. I'm starting out with a little chigger crawl. And uh, I got an Edrig tied on as well. But I've never fished here before, so I have no idea what to expect for where these fish are going to be at and uh, what they're going to bite on. So, total trial and error today. We're on. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, get in the boat, bud. Yes. Oh, finally hooked up. Oh, that is sweet. Wintertime smallmouth out of the big piney. It's my first fish out of this river ever. It is so cool. I was kind of surprised. I've been fishing for a couple hours now with not any luck. Fished that whole upper section there, came down here. And uh, oh, there's a huge tree down there. Huge tree. Found some slower moving water and a little deeper pool. He was sitting down there in it. That's amazing. That right there marks off the big piney for me on the uh, smallmouth slam. I'm gonna see how long he is. 13 and a half inches, and it came on a uh, hand tied homemade jig. So get one last look here at the guy and we'll get him back in the water for you. That's just incredible. Awesome colors right there on that fish. We got a fish right on the fall there. Ooh, that's a better one, I think. Oh, he just came off. Oh, no. Oh, I think that was a better smallmouth, too. I saw a brown flash. That's so unfortunate. Oh, let's see if we get him back again. This water's like as clean as it would be if it came out of your faucet. You can see everything down there. Got him. That's a little fish, but I do have one. <laughs> Second fish out of the Big Piney River. Beautiful colors on that guy. If he'll ever stop flopping around, I can show the camera. There we go. He was just right in the top of the mouth. 
Yeah. It's pretty cool. We're gonna get him right back in the water here and uh, keep fishing. I did see some bigger fish as I was floating down. I don't know if I scared them or not, but they just kind of sat right underneath me. So we're gonna try to move back up this section too. After get down to the end here and uh, see if we can catch any more. A little bigger than this guy. There we go. That's a large mouth. Oh. And he thinks he's very strong. Wow. I didn't even know they had those in the river here. That's pretty cool. I don't know how common those things are here, but uh, from what I researched earlier, they uh, they weren't they weren't in this river, so. That's pretty cool to catch. That might be something that wasn't listed on any of the sites I looked at or something, but still, awesome. One last good look at him right there. Beautiful, beautiful fish. We'll get him back in the water. See ya, buddy. All right, move back up here upstream. Got a few uh, holes I want to hit that I passed over some fish earlier as I was floating down here. And uh, see if we can get them to bite. This thunderstorm's coming in pretty quick. Oh, that's a fish. Smallmouth. Oh, come on, buddy. Stay on. Whew. Got really light gear right now. Oh, my goodness. He's taking a run. Oh, my gosh. This fish fights so hard. Oh, stay out of that tree. Stay out of that tree. I must have him hooked pretty good. He's not popped off yet. Yes. Awesome. Right in the corner of the mouth like that. That is awesome. So sweet. Another beautiful, healthy, big piney river smallmouth bass right there. Awesome. Hey everybody, we're gonna wrap this session up here. Today was an awesome day for me. I ended up getting out here onto a new body of water and learning how to fish for these smallmouth that I didn't know anything about until I got here today. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, this is gonna be the first part in a multiple part series of me doing the Missouri Smallmouth Challenge and uh, Missouri Smallmouth Slam, rather. So if you guys like kayak fishing, fishing Missouri riverways or like smallmouth, consider subscribing to the channel. But if you're just new here, appreciate the view, no pressure. We'll catch you guys on the next one and always remember to explore deeper. There's more out there.